Awesome. A celebration of fantastic radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. Thank you. So turn up this turbacular radio. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Yes. Jocktober. Jocktober. I gotta say, we were just discussing it during the break, but that Hulk Hogan uh, fucking Twin Towers thing yesterday. Yeah. I was laughing off and on all day yesterday because of that. And and I just said to Jimmy, I I, I couldn't tweet the pictures because it didn't do it justice. No, it doesn't. It was do it just justice. one of those moments that came together live on our show. Yeah, where Hulk Hogan was the cause of the the, the towers uh, being knocked down in ridiculous fashion. I fucking haven't laughed that hard since I think a Brian Regan show. Yeah, where um, <laughs> where it hurt. Yep, where it just hurt to laugh. Oh God, what what is the show? What show am I looking at on that website there, Sam? Well, wow. Go ahead, Sambo. What are they doing in the picture? It's uh, Woody and Jim. From Woody and Jim. 107.5, the river in Nashville. Nashville. All right. And and there's a picture of the two of them. They're standing there, uh, and then they're doing something with their fingers. What, what What is that? I think they're saying they have little dicks. I'm not sure. Is that it? I'm not sure. Because they're assume. doing like a teeny... Like oh, when, when, that's when hilarious. You, when you put your hand up and... and and between your thumb and forefinger, you do this teeny thing. You like go, a yeah, pinch. it's this big. It's this big. It's That's a little hilarious. Teeny. Yeah. They're self-marking. Yeah. Oh, they're, uh, someone says they're crushing our heads. That's a, that's a, um, what is that? What comedy troupe you stood the kids in the hall? Kids in the hall. Yes, yes. I'm crushing a head. Yeah. Oh, right, right. But, but no, they're not because they don't have one eye closed. And they don't In have order to little... crush someone's head, you got to have one eye closed yeah. and go, I'm crushing your head. Maybe they're just doing it poorly. Well, probably like everything else that uh, Woody and Jim well, tend to do. Woody and Jim is a very unique show. It's not a, a country oh. music show in what? Nashville, like you might assume. 107.5 The River is all the hits. And so this is oh. a top 40 morning show uh huh, hosted by two middle-aged men. Oh, okay. There's no women. That sounds original. There's no hole. No. So they're out of control, I would gather. Yeah. They're crazy. There's no woman to, like, rein them in when they start going uh, off on a tear. Do we right. have any fezes in the lineup? There might be a fez. Oh, shit. There might be a fez? <laughs> There's a guy named... Fezes from across the globe. Are we doing it or not? I'm keeping my Stop ears... Stop teasing me. I'm keeping my ears open for fezes as we go. As a matter of fact, this station yeah. was first... Simply monitored for the Fez. Wow. And then I decided to give them a full induction into. Uh, are, are we talking a, a full Fez or a half a Fez? I'm going to go full Fez. <laughs> we got a full Fez, yes. Wow, and another. It's not It's not Woody or Jim, though. And where's Ronnie B oh. with the whole Fez bit? Is he starting to see it our way? I think last time I heard I don't him talk about, about it. it. Last time I heard him talk about it, yeah. he said he admired that. That this show was finally recognizing all the people that have ripped off Fez. Exactly. Oh, good. After he started this character, you know, so many years yes. ago. Yes. And, and is Fez going to embrace this, or is he going to feel like we're making fun of him again? I hope he embraces I it. I wonder. And I really hope he would embrace this. This is a celebration of Fez. Of course Absolutely. it is. Of course it is. Fez. Fez. Stand proud. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, Jacktober with Woody and Jim on the fucking river in Nashville. That's right. Yeah. The fucking river. How many river stations are out there? I don't think there's uh, too many of those. No, it's a pretty no, original yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Woody and are Jim. There a lot of them? Or are you kidding? Oh, uh, there's a million. Oh, there are rivers. Okay. There's probably a river in every I wonder why. What, fucking city. What's the theme of the river? It's peaceful. It's nice. It's relaxing. Ah, Everyone enjoys a river. Everyone. Ah, like, oh. Rivers are dirty. Yeah, that's hate rivers. Oh. <laughs> I hate a river. <laughs> fucking rivers. How do you hate, hate a river? I a literally weirdo. fucking hate, hate rivers. You? They just remind me of dirty water moving quickly. <laughs> I like to shit in every river I see. You can't <laughs> hate a river. I want to buy a helicopter and just shit out of it into rivers. <laughs> I, love, I love what Jimmy hates. Just hate rivers. I really do. You can't hate the river. There's a river in uh, Hartford, Connecticut there. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. See, the rivers, rivers are all over the fucking place. A lot of place. rivers. A lot of rivers. All right, Woody and Jim talk about the blackberry outage. Yeah, you know, blackberries were out. Uh, or they've been out. They've been out They're for finally fucking back. a year. Yeah. As more, longer. They suck. As the iPhone introduced their new operating system, blackberry went down. Um, but Woody and Jim hit on the topical story. Mm. But then they went in a different direction with a little audio entertainment help. Uh, oh, uh, that's right. Uh, song right, parody I can't time. To, uh, we yes. haven't had any song parodies no! this jockey. Yes. 
Oh. I was wondering when we were going to start listening to some song parodies. And you'll notice the staple of the morning show. Mm-hmm. There's a great segue into uh, into the song parody as the story moves. Can Can I ask you something? I, I, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to. Uh, maybe I don't want the spoiler. But no spoilers. Will, will we Will we hear any shoehorning? I don't want. It. It's not a place oh. for spoilers. Is this going to be a fun Jocktober, or are we going to get really angry? Because I don't like the angry Jocktobers anymore. Well, I kind of. Yesterday well, we had a lot of fun with this. Yeah, I think there is a place for angry Jocktobers. Yeah. Um, you m- might get angry, but you'll have some fun. Um, and so I think I think there'll be both. All right, here I we hope, go. I hope anyway. Here we go, Jocktober with Woody and Jim on the river in Nashville. People who have a BlackBerry can do calls and texts, but they're not getting their email. They're not being able to log on to the Internet. Right. Uh, kind of those things, especially email, that's like the, what the BlackBerry was made to yeah, do. Yeah, it's it all oh. about business. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, this will seriously affect the 14 people in America who still use a BlackBerry. <laughs> oh, so well, our good. hearts go out to you. <laughs> but it's not just affecting us, the bottom 99%. Uh, you know, elite members of the uh, music society are also highly affected. Like oh. with Khalifa. Nah, uh-huh. Don't know what it is. Ain't nothing I can do. It messed up big. Nah, uh-huh. Try to send some. Even check my inbox. Got none. Even have to write a letter in. My Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry. My Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry. My Blackberry, my Blackberry. Uh, uh, what happened there? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you, Jim? It was uh, it was a song parody, I think. How yeah. much audio do you need? And I know, at one buried. time, it was buried. See, we we've you learned have sweepers. You have a song parody. You have them talking over. You have them laughing over it. Over the years, we've learned one thing with the uh, song parodies that we don't do anymore, anyway. But uh, the, you know, in the day. When we were uh, early on we as the Obi and Anthony we show, a it was bit. still a big thing to do like song parodies and do right. it yourself, not not you know get a right. service. Or well, something that's like a that. service. That one, yeah, of yeah, course, it was it done is. by a service. That's horrible. It, it was first of all, you can't bury the vocals, which they did. You need to bring the vocals up and be very, you know, well, you need to enunciate the jokes. You bury the vocals if you're not confident. In you're not the song, confident though. in the jokes. That's a right. trick. In the jokes, and then it's got to sound like the song. The original Wiz song is black and yellow, black and yellow. So uh-huh. the whole actual chorus was shoehorned. My Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry. <laughs> <my> black <laughs> no, that, yeah, the whole chorus was shoehorned. The, the entire gist of, okay, we're getting to it, this is it, and it was a shoehorn. Like, I'll, I, I've been known to maybe shoehorn one or two lines just mm-hmm. to get it in there, but uh, to, the to shoehorn the, the chorus yeah. is, uh, it's hack. Yeah. I had a good song parody for my the Blackberry with Sweet Caroline. Oh, you did? How did it, how did it go? My Blackberry! Bah, bah, bah. It doesn't get my emails anymore. That's pretty good. Who, who'd you do the uh, song with? Myself. Oh, you didn't have your band? Oh, Bernard Embers was back Bernard. in the <laughs> Of course they were. <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chip forgot his own band. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Wow, all right. So uh, we learn song parodies, and they buy the song parodies. They love Prep Burger. Is that really a Prep Burger bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't oh, do that yeah. themselves. How come we don't have, by the way, uh, I'll, I'll ask you, just remind me off there to ask you for a bit suggestion. Uh-huh. I don't really? want to say it on the air, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Also, remember when we were trying to figure out Thomas Dolby's uh, thing? Yeah. Is it really Dolby surround sound? No, no way. It's they not, had, right? No. They had Dolby before yeah, They had to. Dolby. But was he the Dolby guy and then said, well, I, I'm going to do something else besides the Dolby surround no sound? No way. No. I'm telling Dolby you, though. Dolby was I, around before. Somebody get the Thomas, Thomas Dolby involved. I know Because I'm telling is. you, he is a fucking rich man. It's, I think it's from Ringtone. No, it's the show. Ringtone? Dolby yeah. Gillis. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. That hurt. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you fired that one right at me. I really did. <laughs> Lightning bolt from my finger is <laughs> done. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. Uh, Woody and Jim on the river in Nashville. Today's featured Jocktober show. Mm. Well, we get to hear a kind of funny story about a waitress. Oh. Yes. Kind of funny story well, about and, a waitress. And uh, one thing as we move when along. When do we get to hear the Fez? That's all I care about. He's on there. On this track? Not on this track. Fuck. As we, he just does the entertainment report, so he doesn't do the whole show. All right. But as we move on with the tracks, you'll notice that one thing Woody and Jim like are not only each, not only their own, but each other's jokes. They love laughing at those jokes. Do they really laugh at each other's stuff? Very heartily. 
They find each other very funny. They're, all yeah, the time? All the time. Kind of a funny story, uh, you know, if you... Uh... You should never <laughs> say kind of a funny no. story. Unless it's a, a drunk driving accident following right. <laughs> Oh, my God, never say that. Kind of a funny story, uh, you know, if you uh, are working in the restaurant or the bar business, yeah. uh, a lot of your uh, income comes from tips. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah. it hurts a little bit if you don't get a tip. They don't pay much. Yeah. In Seattle, a, uh, a guy stiffed a girl who was a bartender and uh, used his credit card and uh, wrote out the uh, the bill, signed it, and instead of leaving a tip, which he left nothing, he, was he wrote a jerk. zero down for yeah. the tip. Huh? But he wrote under his signature, he says, hey, you could stand to lose a few pounds. Wow. <laughs> so, so that was his tip yeah, yeah, to her, that was her was tip. to lose weight. So, uh, yeah. you know, she didn't <laughs> get angry. Or He's a piece of shit, but I love him. <laughs> that's what you get, fat bartender. <laughs> Story, yeah, but, story's yeah. funny, Sam. But that's what I said. You see, immediately, yeah. Aunt had a line, Jim had a line. We're talk- yeah. The story's funny, but they don't go with the fat angle. No? They don't Why go with not? The- because they don't want to hurt people's feelings. Just call oh. her a pig for the fucking 20 minutes. That that's was her what tip. This show would do. Her, you could stand to lose a few pounds. You could stand to lose a few pounds. I'm going to give the guy an A plus on his radio voice, by the way. You like his radio voice? I like it. Yeah, it sounds deep. more, it's deep and kind of natural. Yeah, he's, natural. Not, he's not bringing the voice down into yeah, this yeah. area. Right. Uh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> to lose weight. So, uh, you know, she didn't get angry or anything. She just did what everybody does now. She went right to Facebook. And okay. she posted a picture of the of the bill with his signature. Okay. And so within just a matter of hours, they found out the guy's name, where he worked, what frat he went to, you know, all this stuff. <laughs> Everything. And, and they've organized all the servers and restaurants and bars in uh, Seattle are, uh, you know, organizing to make sure he never gets served again. That, Why not? That's just a dumb story. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see the picture of this guy? No. I love him. It's not another restaurant that would care that much. Were you stupid? No. Exactly. Maybe they should organize some fat so doesn't get hired. To, you try to go have a drink and forget your troubles, and you got to look at the fucking <laughs> this old blimp city in front of you. Slob. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I want to look at Shelley Long, not you. <laughs> okay. oh, see so, now, if, that's the ultimate revenge. If they were like, you know, maybe us, they would want to <laughs> serve him. That's right. If so I were that could... guy, I wouldn't go out. I yeah. wouldn't eat anything a server handed to me. I wouldn't drink anything they poured for me. <laughs> Whoa. They're doing this guy a favor by yeah, not serving him. Exactly. I guess, yeah, I guess they found out he works at uh, Microsoft. So oh, really? finally they found something to hate more than Microsoft Vista. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've got to agree with them on that. Hey, uh, um, by, that bad. by the way, uh, the Facebook... I'm reading is uh, already <laughs> starting to get a few uh, posts. Their well, their their face. This buttons. is very different than past uh, October, Sam. Y- yes, Sam. Somebody at 107.5 The River thinks burning embers rocks. <laughs> oh, that's nice. cool. Facebook, okay. Yes. Can, I, can I quickly? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's really not that bad. Yeah. Um, but they had to fucking take the side of the fat. Broad. Yeah, yeah, the fat broad. Well, they don't. Yeah, they don't go for the you jokes that are funny. You can't hurt. People. And they're playing words hurt. We you would know. so go with the guy. Yeah, I want to see what yeah. he looks like because he is obviously a piece of shit. I want to see his fucking face. Yeah. Sam's trying to find him. He's spelling Seattle with two e's in a row. <laughs> <laughs> two e's in a row. Uh, well, well, uh, all right, there's, there's the picture of the of, P.S. of the yeah. of the uh, bill there. Yeah. What a jerk off. Uh, you want to continue here? Yeah, but that, I want to see this guy. I'm obsessed with this guy. Yeah. Not the first time Jimmy said that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> I'm not, though. I like girls. I know. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but with that, social media turns to slander. Uh oh. What? What happened? What now? a jerk off. Doesn't leave a tip. All right, let's uh, let's uh, move on before we lose all the energy in this jerk October bit. <laughs> Woody and Jim on the river in Nashville. That last break worked so well. Let's do it again an hour later. And why not give the same jokes you just heard with over the top laughs? All right, that's fucked up now. Did they, yeah, did they just replay it? So? Did they up. just replay it or they retell it? They retell it and make believe this. Uh, yeah, uh, doing it for the uh, first time. Right. Right. Yeah, go through that clip and then real. And this, I'm giving it an hour. It's probably more like 40 minutes. That they went and did Jesus. the exact same story. Well, they got to worry about PPMs there, Sam. They could do two stories. Uh, interesting story came out. You know, a lot of people who work in the uh, you know restaurant and bar industry, uh, they live a lot of their lives off tips. Sure, you don't get paid much. The tips is where you make your money. This is kind of cool. A uh, waitress bartender in Seattle 
had a guy come in, uh, you know, charge about 30 bucks, left no tip, used his credit card, and at the bottom where he signed his name. <laughs> this, wait, wait, this is not a replay? No, no. no. No, it's That's just cool. terrible. Look, it's 40 minutes. Why would you do that? I know sometimes we tell the same story, but it's two years later <laughs> in context of something that and comes I, up. And I think yeah. we always add new yeah. stuff to our our go-to stories. We have yeah. go-to stories, yes. Find oh, a yeah. new angle on it. And, and, right. And, and in the past, me and Ed absolutely would do something twice in a show, but we would just like... Replay it. Replay it. Like, Why oh not? man, this happened earlier today. It's worth replaying. Boom. Here, you, here you go. We, we're not pretending that we're doing it for the first time. And I also don't think that the last break was something that you and Aunt would have said. Now that was worth replaying. Oh no, no right? You know? No, you're right. That's gold. It was only those really over the top things that we just knew were just yeah, right gold. Like Aunt just said, yes. Signed oh. his name, crossing out the tip area. He wrote. You could stand to lose a few pounds. Whoa! Oh! So, mm. oh! That, yeah, maybe that was his tip. But wow, uh, they suck. And Wait, they never turning. Heard yeah, he's like, oh, Whoa. And, and Whoa. You take the side of a guy if you're two guys. You have a second. We're two guys. <laughs> you take the side of a guy. <laughs> you have a second opportunity to make the fat jokes. Why would and they you be, still don't? No. Why would they be outraged? Whoa! Of course, oh, it's like I never heard it before. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. An hour ago. Yeah, maybe that was his tip. But wow, she uh, she didn't get mad. She just did what everybody does now. Went right to Facebook and posted a picture of the receipt <laughs> with his signature. Yeah. This is Groundhog Day radio. How do you know Crazy. it's not the same thing though? It's really not. It was worded differently. Okay. Yep. Wow. Oh, you it's, that, oh. I mean, it's definitely different. Yeah, the O's in there. Definitely. And uh, within hours, they found out his full name, his Facebook page, where he worked, what fraternity he went to, <laughs> and uh, in Seattle, they're organizing a boycott to make sure he never gets served again. <laughs> which is kind of funny. I would think that they would jump at the chance to serve this guy. Yeah, yeah. I can't <laughs> wait to. <laughs> what? What? What's, what, what Yes, I could, swear to God, it's different. Can we play the first one? Are you sure? Positive. No, I, I believe Sam. We don't it's, have to. It's uh, the same. But it's almost like they have a script. Right. Like, it's they like wrote, okay, I'm going to uh, redo my... When, you would just go off the cuff. Talking about it, yeah. And, and maybe says come up joke with, and everything. It's the same. The exact they same each joke. do the same jokes. But yeah, yeah. I can't wait till you come in my place. Uh, yes, I will make a special hamburger for you. That's <laughs> the for you, beer. That's funny. Can I want yeah. you drink it? <laughs> yeah, but they, uh, they, he works at uh, Microsoft. Really? So, yeah, so I guess they no. found the... Oh, no. They're not no, 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 no. The, even the kicker line? No, no, well, no. they realize, they're looking at their jokes, and they go, okay, let's both admit no, to no, ourselves. No. Let's go to that one. The Vista line is the line here. Oh, no, 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 no. So no. if we're going to do this again 40 minutes later... We gotta make sure we close with that thing. Oh no! Said uh, Microsoft. Really? So, yeah. So I guess they found the one thing at Microsoft that people hated more than Microsoft Vista. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the same kicker line. And then they both laugh as if it's like brand new and. But <laughs> <laughs> They just are so amused by each other. But why can't you just? Bring up the story again and, and go, yeah, we brought this up earlier. We talked about this and, earlier, and, yeah. And then just kind of have a conversation. Maybe something different comes out of it. No, because then they would they, they'd run out of jokes. That's what happens uh, at PPM and the obsession over who's listening when. Right. It's like, it's just terrible. I've gone through the prep burger services. Yeah. I don't know this to be a fact, but I do know the prep burger will give you wacky news stories and will give you jokes about the news stories. Yeah. There's a good possibility that oh, they just got the jokes from the prep right. service. Oh, so they're not even their own jokes. Like, so they don't have any more jokes, so they got to use the same ones again. They do do that. Prep do, can we? Burger. Do we belong a prep burger? Fuck no. We yeah. should just so we get stuff off at market. Oh man. They used to. They used to give yeah. you a sheet with all like the the headlines, and then with a one liner. Right. And then you're sitting there. How how can you be proud of that? Oh god. Reading someone else's lines. Oh. Yeah, just let them do the show. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Like, a uh, good line there would have been something like, "What? what is this? Like, how come they ain't making, like, Microsoft? At least he's not dead. Oh, Chip. Uh, I hear they're, they're really pounding the uh, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> what, what, are they being mean? <laughs> That's Bobo all he cares there. about. Bobo Bobo is a sexy beast. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Woody and Jim are as funny as elderly rape. <laughs> um... 
Ramon and these guys fuck children. Oh, Ramon geez. the river staff gets AIDS from black gentlemen. <laughs> um, they, just, they have their standard lines too, don't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, tell the server who gets told she's fat story again. I've only heard you do it every five minutes. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> the river you home for favorite laughter and closet homes. <laughs> I made cum seas. <laughs> Fake laughter. Paul Hargis is a serial rapist. <laughs> Sam Roberts' mom's box. <laughs> Holy shit, come on. Get ass raped by Hulk Hogan. Um, That's great. Oh, boy. All right, they're, they're, they're at, at it again. Okay. They, they, did, yeah, they posted a picture saying, Snooki joins Woody and Jim coming up at 640, and now people are posting things like Snooki is a fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about her elephant ass. Ugh. Fuck Snooky. Disgusting. Topic for today. Pig. Blueberries. Are they good as a standalone <laughs> fruit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> continuing with Jack Tober, Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River in Nashville. Woody and Jim comment on Beyonce's possible fake pregnant belly. Oh. That's right. The way two men would. Yeah, you know, a couple oh, guys boy. talking about whether or not yeah. Beyonce's really pregnant. Sure, two guys always talk about that. Yeah. She might not really be pregnant. Well, there's like one clip of her sitting down and it looks like her belly folds a little bit, so people are saying there was a fake pregnant belly, but she said maybe uh, someone else is having the kid for her. Uh, That's surrogate, it. I mean, but so they're making it look like it's she's she's pregnant. Ruin, ruin I her think belly. she's probably pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yes. Isn't right. her belly very important to her? Yeah, would you lose the weight if you? Yeah. Uh, like I was looking on. Um, the site yesterday at a woman who had big fat pussy and was doing squat thrusts in <laughs> in um in um in sheer panties. <laughs> Disney dot <laughs> com. <laughs> no, you like the the thing was she just shows off her fat vagina through her sheer panties and you and you're pretending that you're laying there under the floor where she does squats over your oh, face. Oh, what? It was hot. Kind of interesting. But she had like a little bit of the lasagna belly, but she was toned. Like she was in good shape. I don't like that. Yeah, it was like no, even I, even if it's really toned, sometimes you can't you can't get past that. Thing. But then some women do. Some women get rid of it, and it's on, it's nothing. I don't like that lasagna thing. Yeah. I think it's after a couple of kids. Yeah, probably. That's like seven or eight. Yeah, maybe. All right, here we go. Woody and uh, Jim comment on Beyonce's possible fake pregnant belly. 107.5 The River with Woody and Jim in the morning. 625. We have 62 degrees. Uh, Going to be rainy today with a high in the middle 60s. More rain for tonight than clearing up mid-70s for tomorrow. Uh, there's an <laughs> Stop doing weather on the radio, please. you got to come back from the song with the weather. Please. Do you realize that the a quick press mention, like of a button, huh? at a press of a virtual button, you can get the weather. Plus, in, in fucking amazing localized detail, yeah. you can get the weather. Everybody has that on their phone. The radio just doesn't know how to do things differently. They've Stop been, with the weather. They've been doing weather for forever, so we've got to continue doing weather. You, you could talk about the weather in a, in a conversation, like we right. bitch and complain, like, ah, fucking rain today. The yeah, you can't stand that it's getting whatever, colder out blah, blah, or something blah. like that. Yeah. But you look at the weather on your phone before you leave the house. Then you yes. get in the car, and when the radio tells you the weather, you go, yeah, I know. There's windows. Yeah, yeah. I know hey, it's raining. Oh, look at what two guys yeah, just talking <laughs> yeah. about the weather. Hey. We're a couple of guys. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Can't wait to hear those two. <laughs> Fucking Thailand pervert. <laughs> morning for the night and clearing up mid-70s for tomorrow. Uh, there's an interesting kind of a head-scratcher story about Beyonce. Oh. You know, she's a... Uh, Says she's pregnant. Uh, oh. Jay Z and her are gonna have a baby. Woody says she says she's pregnant well, because there's a little suspicion right now. Right there's a there's a story that she's wearing a fake belly, a baby bump prosthetic, and you gotta wonder if she's really pregnant. Why would she be wearing that Kick unless she it. wants to look more pregnant than <laughs> she is? <laughs> that's and if that's with, the case, yeah. why would she <laughs> want to attempt murder? <laughs> it's a head scratcher. So yeah, fucking it foam is. rubber uh, when Jello you, comes out. You hear them laughing. <laughs> Yeah, you go back a little bit because as they're <laughs> posing this setup, all the single ladies, all what? <laughs> they're already laughing. Yeah, really? yeah, when they haven't given any <laughs> jokes yet. Plus, she wants to look more pregnant than she is. And if that's the case, why would she want to do that? <laughs> it's a head scratcher. It for is. Sure. It is. Uh, we've got a lot of people uh, chiming in on Facebook, uh, the 1075 the River fan page. And uh, also, some texters have been giving great theories. We've got uh, Dawn. She texted us an awesome theory, and we called her back. Tell everybody what you were saying. Yeah, well, why she's wearing the fake belly? I've got two of them. I think that she could possibly be storing snacks, you know, in the fake belly. <laughs> it's a storage department, <laughs> yeah. like a kangaroo with. Yeah. It has that little pouch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe exactly. it's 
If that bitch called our show with that, we we go beat it, sister. Really? We give her some laughs. Hit the bricks. Oh. Snacks in her we face. We never belly. put that. Hit on the it. bricks. It would be like, shut up, you Jimmy. You go. What'd you say? <laughs> uh, your phone uh, petered out. Uh, Chip would love it. I wouldn't laugh if Ozzy said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, somebody on their Facebook page is advertising Snooky coming up at seven thirty eight fifteen eight twenty four and nine oh one. These guys get it. I love it. Uh. Uh, the, the, storing snacks and that's that's storing, fun radio. Storing yeah. snacks in her fake belly. Yeah, look out! Snacks, you know, in the fake belly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a storage yeah. compartment, like a kangaroo with yeah. has that little pouch. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Maybe it's refrigerated. You get hungry when you're pregnant, you know. <laughs> or she could be trying to balance out her big booty. Booty in the back, and yeah. a bump in the front. That's mm. good training for when Kim Kardashian finally gets pregnant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? Isn't it though? Can I tell you something that's not, I don't have a clip of, but I just wanted to tell you? Uh, yeah. Please. 40 minutes later. No. No. <laughs> no. They reset up the premise. Yeah. And then they said, hey, somebody's texting us. Let's give them a call. And they played the same call with the same Jeez. jokes. Holy 40 shit. 40 minutes later. That's lazy, They man. played the same call right, with the same Right, that is joke. lazy. You think we're lazy? That's lazy so shit. They, I they, swear. And after, I didn't give you the clip because it's, it is the same recorded call, but they didn't set it up as in, hey, we got this call earlier today. Wait till you hear this girl and her snacks line. They set it up as, oh, we just, let's call her. I like how they go, yeah, we let's call her. And well, she's right there. And she's there. And, and and now they, they didn't replay the bit. Obviously, they they, they talked about it. They reset Again, it up as if it was a new up, premise, but played the same call and said we're we're getting yeah. our Facebook. And by the way, I I shouldn't have left that Facebook plug in. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, crazy! But uh, they're on a clock. Yeah, yeah. A lot of radio guys have to be on a clock. But it's whether like, at this time we're gonna do this bit here, we're gonna do redo the bit uh, over here. They actually have recycle it. They actually have four pieces of paper with a clock on it, and they have to like you know, yeah, yeah. write in what they're gonna do at every moment. It's too Whoa. bad because the two guys sound like they're uh, seasoned pros. Yeah. It sounds like they could be doing better radio. This yeah. is your... That's what I think is bothering yeah, yeah. me. Here. I've uh, I've I've heard plenty of radio shows that will literally replay the six o'clock hour at nine o'clock. Which I yeah. kind of get, or replay the six o'clock hour at eight o'clock, but never have I heard such blatant uh, taking the same things and just re-saying them forty minutes later. Because it comes off as phony. Yeah. You know, you, you, if you're if you're laughing or acting surprised at something that you know you've already talked about, that's crazy. And do they play music? Oh my God! They play a lot that's of music. Easiest a job lot of in the music. world. They play like so. They're, if they're playing a lot of music, that's a lot. That's all that time. They don't have to do any bits. They probably and then they they only need a few bits for the the entire show. They talk maybe if fifteen minutes an hour, maybe maybe fifteen minutes an hour. And within at that fifteen most. minutes an hour, they're doing the same bit twice. Yes, if, if you're saying forty minutes, top of the hour and bottom of the hour. Or so so yeah. what we just heard this Beyonce thing is the only thing they did in one hour. Most, yes, absolutely. Most likely. Yes, because then they did Holy a, they did fuck. another break about Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Then they did some way that they did their entertainment report, and then they went back to the first break about Beyonce and did it again. Uh, you could do that radio in your sleep. It's amazing. How do you get one of those gigs? It sounds great. I'm not kidding. They hang out in Nashville all day. They don't have to prep at all. Holy shit. So th if they're doing a four-hour show, they're doing maybe four to five quick bits for the entire show. Yeah, and they're not even bits. You have to have people calling up with lines like she's hiding snacks in her belly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hysterical lines That's like bit that. one. Anthony, I'm proud to say it's time for another Fez. Ah, now this is a third uh, person Fez coming is on, from the, across the on the scene. Uh, well, how does he fit in? To Intern this Adam is his name. Intern Adam. Matter of fact, let me show you a picture. Well, let's get insult Fez. No, that's what not... What are you trying to say? Fez oh, is like an intern? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a little disrespectful. Oh, he's not, sexy. He's not really not an intern. Ooh. That's intern Adam. He's dreaming. Exactly. He's... Maybe I'm saying sexy is... Uh, uh, sexy. Fez is a sexy young man. Maybe you are. Right. Look how attractive Maybe intern Adam is. Wow. That's a model picture, by the way. He's model. He's a model, right? He should be if he's oh, not. Oh, my Jesus, God. Sam. You're getting I'm mad. saying he's very attractive. you got to push that shit down. He's a good-looking guy. Turn it I'd, off. Uh -huh. I'd, I'd, <laughs> Turn I'd, it off, Sam. I'd spend a weekend in a tree fort with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would, Concho Pete. <laughs> Concho Pete. <laughs> See? That was just made up. <laughs> Love Concho Pete. All right, Eric, write that joke down. We'll do it again in 20 minutes. <laughs>
Concho beat. Concho beat rules. We get a taste of intern Adam. Oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> and he's a fez. Oh, yum. <laughs> hey, Jim, are you performing at the Stress Factory November 3rd through 5th? Oh, yeah, I mean, why, why are you bringing that up? I just found that out looking at uh, 107.5 The River's face. In oh, 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 that's, that's a nice yeah. plug. <laughs> Thank you. Really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, then the guys laugh for reasons I'm not sure of. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, they do a story after Intern Adam pipes in with his entertainment tease, and then they start laughing. I'm not quite sure why. Ah, morning. The perfect time to irrationally hate everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got sleeves coming up after the break. What's up? What are the networks offering Amanda Knox for her first title? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm, oh, boy. I'm obsessed with Fez's across the globe. Nash realize a Fez. The networks offering Amanda Knox. And they're all stealing this thing. The Fez invented they're this stealing character Fez's so long ago. Yes. Soul, oh, man. yeah. Fez probably, uh, as far as I know, really kind of worked on the character. Yeah, he yeah. developed Honed it. it. This yes. guy is just reading an entertainment report. Yeah, yeah. The Fez off. How many yeah. Fezes do we have now? Is this our third? Yeah, we. Well, no, we've had two that we featured on the show. I have one in my back pocket. And this one. I mean, that's three I, or four, yeah. I only acknowledge one Fez. That's right. Oh. What are the networks offering Amanda Knox for her first sit-down interview? Oh, they all want to talk to her. It's yes. a bidding war, yeah. It's a ridiculous amount of money. You're going to find out what it is in the sleeves coming up after the break. Oh, well, she's going to uh, hold out like Chris Johnson. Right. And then, you know, get her money and then, you know, not say much. <laughs> not deliver. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> deliver, talk to like 56 seconds. <laughs> and disappoint. And then, 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 then say, I'll try to do better. <laughs> We're all looking at each what other. The what the fuck? Happened? Did you hear? As they're setting up, the one guy going. <laughs> uh, he's getting head from Adam. <laughs> oh, is that what was yeah. <laughs> By the way, I also have my suspicions that Adam is nowhere near the studio. Oh, oh really? No. There was no interaction there. There, there wasn't. You think that might be a pre-tape? Oh, yes. Oh, can we hear? Wait, wait, wait I, mean, I don't know. That's my suspicion. Okay. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Now that we have that little bit of information, when, we should listen. When he a does the bit. sleaze. Yeah. Yeah. It's an isolated segment, mm. not an interactive segment. It's right. isolated. Right. Intern Adam, right. and now we go back to Woody and Jim. So right. it's Woody and Jim, and then on the other side, it's Intern Adam. Well, here's a taste of Intern Adam sleaze. Yeah. Let's get sleazy. 57 seconds of sleaze with Intern Adam. Jack Osborne surprised his mom and dad, Ozzy and Sharon, with the announcement that he is going to be a dad. It all went down on CNN's Pierce Morgan tonight, where Jack was very gleeful about... His engagement. Oh, and by the way, this will be Sharon's first time at being a grandma. It's a little sleazy for you. Oh, that's sleazy. By being the way, a grandma. I just got word, too, so that I have I... a cold that won't go away. <laughs> the guy that intros the sleaze? <laughs> yeah. Actually, could you play, like, the first five seconds of that clip again? Oh, come on, really? Yeah, play this. Let's get sleazy. 57 right. seconds of sleaze with yeah. internet. Okay, that's... E Rock's telling me that's Jeff Berlin, the guy that voices the virus, too. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't he work oh, here? Fuck. No. Oh, he doesn't. Not in this building, anyway. Oh. Well, get rid of him. I don't want to be associated yeah. with some river station. <laughs> get a new guy. I don't know if he's a character over there, but yeah, I wanted to give you the sleaze so you could judge for yourself whether Intern Adam is the Nashville Fez clone. I got to go half a Fez in this one. You're only giving him half a Fez? Yeah, there's a little, like, Andy Dick in him as well. No. You think so? Andy Dick. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I fucking hate Andy Dick. <laughs> the dick job. What? I fucking Who hate Andy Who likes him? Dick. And not um, in a good way, because oh. I think he kind of wants people to He's like, wild. Ooh, he's, look out. He's stinks. crazy. It looks like there's 58 comments on the Snooky picture. Should I click and see what they are? Yeah, let's let's click. Uh, this is the River's Facebook, not ours. One says, yippee skippy. One says... Her snatch smells like the dumpster behind Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> now, those are stinky uh, dumpsters. One says Snooky is AIDS burger in paradise. Uh, then that's followed up with Wow, mean guys. And then another one says Snooky gave me HPV. Uh, <laughs> Frunkus looks like tss, looks like two big blueberries or something. Tss, tss, tss. Uh, Keep your hands and feet away from its mouth. <laughs> um, Casey Anthony is an awesome babysitter. Yeah. Snooky's going to 
get some Woody and suck some Slim Jim. <laughs> um, shut up. Have you ever seen her tits? Uh, that snatch is full of clitty litter. Uh, oh, my God, so much cum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a baby hippo, one person asks. Oh, all right. I uh, hope you have a big food budget, one person suggests. Yeah. And she's going to eat them uh, out of house and home, as they say. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get back to Woody and Jim, the river in Nashville. Today's Jocktober. Uh, it's time for Gender Wars. Yeah. Oh, shit. There are some original. Uh, gender uh, Wars sounds like Battle of the Sexes, though. Well, how does Battle of the Sexes work? Is that where, well, a yeah. guy would get uh, a call in and have to answer questions about women. And that's hard to do. Yep. And women would have to answer questions that uh, primarily men would, would know the answer to, but women not so much. Is that it? That's been done before? Oh, oh yeah. See? I, oh, uh, yeah. 10,000 times. I'm sorry, Sam. We never taught Sam that. Yeah, I didn't know. Ah, oh, see? Oh, I thought boy. these guys were ripping Scorch off. I thought that was their original. <laughs> At least. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah. yeah, ripped me off. Yeah, yeah, he did. At least I'm now in 8 billion homes. <laughs> <laughs> Is he up to 8 billion? Oh, he's he must be. be at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, at least they changed the name from Battle of the Sexes to Gender Wars. Gender Wars. It's time no. for men and women. No! That's fucking good! No, not a it's Star Wars time. gender war! Oh, God. Their Facebook no. is getting pounded. Well, that's yeah, not nice, Sam. I know, I didn't want them to. No, I uh, Hoo hoo, Robin, they stole my Fez. Hoo <laughs> <laughs> hoo. Uh, fez the Felcher, too? <laughs> <laughs> Intern Adam is a standalone fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cum chugger? The what? <laughs> Who's the cum chugger? Intern Adam broadcast from a men's bathhouse. Uh, I hear Intern Adam gives free prostate exams. <laughs> Snooky is face sitting Adam. Uh, hey, Jim's plans for the weekend occupy Woody's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, B i l l t e t l e y. Totally, of course. Nice. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, God. One person just writes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as oh. we continue. It's time for men and women to answer questions for gender wars. Given questions that the other ones should know, but do they? Let's God find out. We have our contestants now like for the ladies in the audience. We have Megan in Springfield. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Good luck. And for the guys, we have Terry in Murfreesboro. Megan, what's hey, the best way to scratch morning. your balls? Hey there. <laughs> uh, we... um, is it uh, between thumb and forefinger with a roll? Yes, it is. How would you know that? <laughs> you don't even have balls. <laughs> but... Terry, what's the best thing to do if you're pregnant and you feel a spot of blood on your ankle? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody hey there. Uh, we learned this morning that uh, Hugh Jackman admitted Uh-oh. to uh, peeing his pants. Mm-hmm. What an embarrassment. Um, oh. Megan, at any time in your life, uh, <laughs> have you ever had an accident? Oh, my God. No. Can I see a picture of this guy? Yeah. I just got some info. Oh, which one? Intern Adam? Jim? Let me get my phone out. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure who's talking, but that's the guy. This is Woody here. That's Jim in the blazer. I would assume that Woody is the. Uh oh, what do you got? What do you got? You got some. You got. You got a scoop. Uh oh, I'm tapping out. You know Woody. I have to tap out. Oh, oh no! my God! I have to tap out. Who is it? He's. Oh no! Fucking way! Oh uh, no! What happened? You, were, you were unbiasedly attacking him before. Oh no! Who is it? I knew the. I knew the guy. Sounded like he knew radio. You said you're I was, saying they sound very professional, I, and that you felt bad because you felt like oh no, dude, you have no idea. Oh, if you just fucking oh my god, I started foot firmly in mouth. Are you ready for this? I started my radio career with that guy Jim. <laughs> yes. We went Which to one? college the the together. Left? The guy on the right, I haven't seen on him the right. In, I haven't seen him in years. The guy in the blazer, or the guy in the shirt to here? the right. Oh, that guy, guy in the blazer. So you started doing radio with him where? In Geneseo, Geneseo, college radio. College uh, radio. 
Jim, oh, it's Jim Chandler. It's at, I, oh my God! Oh no! This is the magic of October. It really is. This really is, dude. I started in radio with that guy. He's been around for fucking ever. Oh, Jim Chandler. No. Oh no! You said you didn't say that much bad stuff. We actually, you were complimenting. Him. Are there any? Are there any quotes? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we started together. And he got fucked, by the way. Oh, well, good. Uh, yeah. Somebody is saying, Opie says hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but then it's, then like it's this, uh, this Kurt guy... says, okay, I take it all back. Opie says you're okay. Now it's time to kill Sam. <laughs> uh, I have to tap out. Uh, He's actually, like, a really, really cool, nice dude. Oh, sure. oh We Greg, started you, together. Uh, Greg Hughes says, what's up, man? Uh, oh, no. Oh. It's definitely him. I, I checked my Twitter, and someone goes, Jim's a Geneseo graduate. I'm like, uh-oh. Oh, my God. Because the whole time I'm listening to his voice, like, I, th this voice sounds familiar, but maybe it's just the radio thing because a lot Whoops. of guys sound alike. Well, that's the danger of Jacktober. As long as you guys have been actually, in the business, you're going to end up, you know. Yeah, he, he, actually was, he was ahead of me in college radio. He was running the whole fucking station. Really? And then he got fucked what happened? by uh, Todd <laughs> of Scott and Todd. Scott and Todd? Fucking this guy, Jim, was doing a really good show. I think it was in uh, Connecticut yeah. with, uh, wait, how did this work? Was it Albany? With Todd. <laughs> Jim Chandler. Greg Hughes sends his regards. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to just call the station and say, hey, what's up? I haven't heard from you in years. You Michael Corleone to? sends his regards. <laughs> you should probably call the station and apologize for, for all Dude, this. Yeah. It's a good story, though, because he had a really good uh, morning show with Todd, that type of radio. Todd Pangale? And then Todd got recruited to come to New York, leaving Jim behind. Oh, uh, and now Jim is stuck Was with Was it Woody. Albany? They were called uh, Jim and Todd or something like that. Yeah, Fly 92 in Albany. Fly oh. 92. Like, they were, had a really good show in Albany, and then fucking Todd got the call to come to New York. Right. I know that. Oh, that's tapping. hilarious. Yeah, I'll but you tapped, tapped with like a track and a half left. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> you been useful information thing. a half well, hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. Can we play the track and just, just listen to it nicely? This is one of these. Yeah, yeah. Without goofing on it? This, I think we this is one of these actually. rare things that I swear I'm done. Yeah, oh, I, so I can't even fucking fake it. Fair he, enough. He is the coolest fucking dude. Fair enough, sir. Fair I, enough. I don't know what he's been up to for the last But I would like to years, hear the rest of the track. Yeah, we yeah, of course. The, we the track. We yeah, just, yeah. You guys can do whatever the fuck I'll you want. Nice. Oh, he <laughs> sounds like a nice enough guy. You don't have to be nice. We weren't really going bullshit on him either. Right, it's not like they got a make hole. A oh, no. <laughs> because this one says, Jim Chandler, colon, uh, Greg Hughes says you're a cocksucker. <laughs> oh, please say <laughs> that. Oh, the, you might oh, the listeners are brutal. Oh, he says keep it real, mother hucker. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Greg Hughes is personally responsible for this radio attack. He says you're a hacky douche. Oh, oh my no. God. You're gonna have, now you're going to have to fucking Call talk to this guy. Did you pick up marshmallows with your asshole, too? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> are you Opie's gay brother from Rochester? <laughs> Um, uh, oh, this is great. Uh, shit. Remember, oh. I did say that these guys sound like they should be doing you know, better radio. Better radio. Yes, yes. I See? think uh, they sense something. And I don't want, you know, it's going to sound like I'm sticking up for the guy, but it, it's obvious the radio business got him. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that, you got to fit this mold. They yeah. turned off. They turned off. Comments. Oh, oh, it's, it's oh, done. That means now it's, Jim it's knows. Done. They turn now he comments. knows. We um, literally started together. He's sitting Matter there right fact, now talking about you going, that motherfucker, yeah, man. Why, would you do this? why is he doing this? You know, out and of nowhere. We were both we were both young guys uh, full of cum. Uh, and even, even full of piss and vinegar. Even one summer in Geneseo, I, I stayed behind and he stayed behind so we could run the radio station. Like we were like uh, fucking into doing oh, radio. Man. And now we're in the uh, phase, the Facebook phase, by the way, of only they can post comments on their wall. Yeah. But other people can post comments based on what they post. Right. So now we're in the phase of our fans commenting on their On their posts. comments. Right, right, yeah. right. right. Oh, yeah. No. And so, yeah, the last thing that he read before, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Um, one person, they write, I want you at Death Valley Haunted Woods. They're advertising this thing. Yeah. And a fan comments, Greg <laughs> Opie Hughes <laughs> oh, wants Jim Chandler to shove a fudgy wudgy bar up his anus. <laughs> You fucking asshole. Oh, this is beautiful. Day, 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 You fucking asshole. Uh, Greg, Greg, Greg Hughes sends his best wishes and that you're queer. Uh, Jim and Opie did the elephant walk at their Geneseo fret. 
No, he, he wasn't. A, he wasn't. Uh, this is a front oh, oh man, oh, you have some explaining to do, this guy. And well, you know what? I wasn't feeling good about this Jocktober, and it was yeah, kind of yeah. just kind of. That's why you got to listen to Jocktober every day. You, you never know what really, fucking we, turn we, it's going to take. You we didn't know you knew him, right? And is we, that how lazy he was? <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely. Oh, and the yes. prep burger laziness, <laughs> <laughs> redoing the bits every fucking hour. It's it's absolutely him too. Uh, you you definitely had this thing where we were just kind of weaving through it like it's not awful like hey everybody in the I, hole and shit I yeah, but, but I, there was some underlying thing there i think i you, heard his voice i'm like yeah. wait something's not right here when, because when, i haven't thought of that guy no offense to jim in 20 years do you think that's yeah. been a long time after this <laughs> yeah <laughs> no offense to him, yeah. but after calling him a question, queer though, when two guys do college radio together and take over the station together over the summer and everything yeah. and then one of them goes on to be ridiculously successful in radio and the other does the Woody and Jim show <laughs> <laughs> do you think Ovid, do you think Jim remembers him of course he does yeah, of course, oh, he does. Of course. No, yes. so he has to know that every That's time not he... even a doubt. Oh, of course they were tight back then we, we kept he... in touch uh, until he was in Albany and then lost touch you so. always you always and you always kind of keep track of other people that you knew their radio careers every so often and and obviously we've been in, in the news <laughs> yeah. every so often it oh, no, pops up knows. so yeah. he knows Greg Hughes oh, no. says and I quote <laughs> and this is in quotation marks Jim Chandler's mouth was a cum dumpster back in college. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope he has satellite radio. When, uh, satellite. Someone just writes in all caps, Prep Burger. Oh. Uh, right under that, Greg Opie Hughes misses your delicate touch, Jim. <laughs> oh, no. He's reading uh, all of these, wondering why you've turned on why him, Opie. Did you do why that? why would you do this? this? After why? all these years, why would you do he this was, to me? He stabbed me in the back. Humiliate me. This fucking kid was, he was a professional. <laughs> He was a professional in college radio. Yeah. Like, okay. I, I had a shitty Long oh. Island accent. I, I knew I wanted to do this. This guy had the voice and knew what the fuck he early was doing. On, early on. Early on. set. And, uh, and just obviously never developed after oh, that. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh-oh, what happened? Hey, Jim Chandler. Greg Opie Hughes is still pissed that you wouldn't dock with him back in Geneseo, <laughs> but he says, good luck, bro. As if there's any question as to why this is happening, yeah. uh, one commenter so literally puts it, Greg Opie Hughes told us to all come here and make rude posts. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, <laughs> Greg Hughes says that when you were in Albany, he tried to touch his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in Albany. Um, Wait, there's another one too. Uh, Greg Opie Hughes revealed that Jim Chandler's a cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> this is why interactive Jack Tober is so good. This uh, has just turned so bad. <laughs> oh my god. And, uh, and I was sitting here going, this Jack Tober uh, today just sucks. <laughs> and now look at the fucking spin it takes. Uh, <laughs> and the, the lovely and talented. Let me look Colin at it. Let me look at this picture in the room too. Oh, hey, Colin. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Colin, uh, to to sum it up, have you been listening to what's happened? We we do Jack Tober every October and uh we goof on radio shows that we deem and that Sam deems uh, uh not, not a little hacky, you Shitty. know? A little hacky. Uh, so we were featuring uh, Woody and Jim today, and uh, as uh, after pounding them for like relentlessly a for a half an hour, Opie realized he went to college with one of them, and he's a cool guy. And, and <laughs> we, they started radio together. They started radio together. <laughs> like I've been at this a really long. I, I've been doing this since eighteen. Guess what? When I was eighteen, I, I I knew that guy. And now now Opie could say what he wants to try to get out of this, but yeah. the listeners have already gone to the <laughs> Facebook page and started posting things like Greg Opie Hughes says. He's mad at you because you wouldn't suck his cock back in college. He says so, you stink. The fans are being horrible. They, I love the, the fans image. are being complete I, assholes. Of, of I would this absolutely guy, consider this guy a friend. Yeah, well, you guys. I haven't seen him in a long time. But, like you. Page, but oh, oh, oh. you guys in the radio station I was too busy together. being a big radio star, Colin. I yeah. didn't have time for him, but I would consider him a friend. Oh, my God. Taking over the radio station together in the summer is like the two of you. Just oh, All yeah. you had, you were That's just it. powered by your dreams. That was the guys yeah. that really wanted it. That's two against the world. That's a storyline for a movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. A buddy movie. You want to hear uh, Gender Wars? Well, have the fans <laughs> say anything like, hey, he didn't mean it or no? Well, one person said, uh, Greg Hughes fucked Jim Chandler's wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, not, that's just not right. Oh, um, that's dead. not right. One person said, today on ONA, Greg Hughes confesses to ejaculating in Jim Chandler's underpants <laughs> while he was sleeping. Uh, Obi <laughs> wants to know if you remember the gang rape on the pinball machine. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I think... 
I'm not oh, positive. Opie. Opie says go back to college radio. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were roommates, I now that I think about it. Oh, shit, it, it gets worse. I, uh, 107. In Nashville, the river. Nashville. The river. Yeah. I think we were roommates. <laughs> For, really? I think. I, I mean, yes. when I was in Geneseo, I was like, I was pretty much a freeloader because I didn't have much money. So I, I, I probably lived in 12 different places. Yeah. But I think one of them, I think he was actually a roommate you, for a while. You think you were roomies? Wow. Wow, that's brutal. This man. is stuff I haven't thought about in, he's like gonna I said, take, 20 years. He's going to take this very personally. Very yeah. personally. Okay. You want to hear him? <laughs> well, well, AIDS and stuff on Facebook uh. says, Opie always hated you because <laughs> you're always a bottom. <laughs> Uh, uh, see, uh, poor Jim Chandler. Well, while they add yeah, new comments, uh, Greg Lee Hughes says he always hated Jim in college. <laughs> while they add new comments, why don't we listen to the rest right. of the track? This morning that yeah. uh, Hugh Jackman right admitted there. to uh, peeing his pants. Mm -hmm. What an embarrassment. Um, Megan, at any time in your life, <laughs> uh, have you ever had an accident? The only one I can recall is when I was a kid. <laughs> How old were you? I'd 18. say probably day three. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what about you, Terry? Yeah, I can't remember the last time I did. I'm sure I have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blackout. Whatever night it happened. You know, yeah. Well, uh, Matt writes from New Hampshire, Opie jumps on homeless people's food but doesn't want to hurt some zilch's feelings. Yeah. Man. Some zilch. Started radio zilch. with the guy. Yeah. Jim. Yeah. Uh, Greg Obi Hughes said you jerked off to horseplay from, in college. <laughs> uh, we kind of did like the same radio show like together. Oh, I think he was like doing oh, the news or something for the oh, show. Oh, that's uh, that was pretty good though. What was he asking that lady about? How about a microphone there, Colin Quinn? What was he asking that lady about? It was a, it was a battle of the sexes. Oh, yeah, on right. the radio. Yeah, which I think a minute ago we said was really hacky and terrible. The funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. No, no, no I mean, I'm just just to some. You know what though? Me. In all fairness, Jim Chandler knows better. He knows this shit. But I'll bet you that Jim Chandler... Yes, but what do you want him to do? It's too specific. Good like, point. Jim Chandler probably thinks you said this stuff. because, like, wow, we did go to college together. And, yeah. oh, no, he does know it's me. Why did he send all his fans to my Facebook page? Yeah, why would he do that? We were friends. They said goodbye. They hugged goodbye after a couple of beers. Yeah. Hey, man, good luck with your career. You too. Yeah, I'll yeah, see you yeah. I'm sure we'll hook up down the road. Maybe yep, do a show. Yeah. 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 Hey, best of luck, man. And this yeah. is how they hook up down the road. You know, we're trash at the club. We're all in this together, <laughs> man. Like, with friends like this, who needs enemies? Oh, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> sure. That was a salient point. <laughs> you want the last track? Of course. We're in this deep. Hey, yeah. why did they laugh when that guy said he didn't remember when the last time he peed his pants was? That wasn't a, that wasn't Good. funny. Oh, now Sam. <laughs> now you understand, Sam? Please, don't, it was hysterically funny, and there was a reason for the laughter. <laughs> oh, he just glares at me and taps. I can't. I just can't on this one. You have, we literally in, in college together. With all you had was your dreams, and you were running the college station in the summer, it thinking, was, "Wait till we're really doing this. It was Maybe we'll do a show together." It was yeah. WGSU, college radio, uh, and he was one of the guys I started. Uh, with. Him and a few burnouts from my fraternity that are good friends of mine that uh, you know did a, did their dumb radio shows. And how do you how anywhere. do you treat them? You've met them, <laughs> Buzzy and, and Fred. Jim should hey expect guys. a call from Greg Hughes in October 2012. Uh, I got his uh, Twitter account. Thank you, Kevin. I got some spleen to do. What's his oh, Twitter account? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying. Oh. oh. Here's the last track. <laughs> 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 the multiple choice question <laughs> starts. All right, Megan, ladies first. Here we go. Oh. Is Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy, a That's famous author, race car driver, or poker player? Author, I know that one. Poker player. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. no. He's an author. All right, Terry, here's the multiple choice question That's for true. you. Is Greg a handbag, Obi Hughes a, a scumbag or clutch? Backstabber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet the answer would be yes right there, Ant. Oh, Chip. Uh, Iraq, what did I say before I realized <laughs> that I know this guy really well from the old days? Said he was lazy. What did I say? <laughs> Chip remembers that shit. Yeah, you did say he was yeah, lazy. Yeah, did say he was lazy. He said he used his prep burger and that he doesn't work hard and he probably shouldn't be any further along than he is. Yeah. I believe it's that's just lazy radio. Yeah, it's lazy Man, radio. That's just lazy How radio. How the fuck do you get that job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said well, that. How oh, yeah. easy is it without they play music uh, yeah. and then just talk for a minute? And you said they sound phony because they're always just doing the same stories and not even saying that they did right, it earlier. Right, yeah. um, I think I said that. It was mean spirit. Well, maybe yeah, but he agreed. One, buddy, <laughs> one person's commenting. Well, uh, maybe the business broke him down. gasoline on the fire. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Jim. even worse to say that about him. Yeah, that you're saying uh, he's got no backbone. Ope says it like, hey, listen, man, 
I apologize. The business just broke you down, yeah, Jim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have you just hate me. And yeah, yeah. Don't patronize me. You know, someone like me. I'm a I, was able to, man. I was able to transcend that whole thing and make it in the business, but you got beaten down yeah. and weren't be able to become Oh, God, if we, didn't have, if we didn't have a national show, I would not be in this business. It's like, I pity yeah. you, Jim. I wouldn't be in That's one fucking not. market at this age. Yeah. I don't oh, hate God, you. Yeah. I pity you, Jim. I pity, yeah, I pity you. Jim, Opie says, drop dead. Your show sucks. Choke on a big juicy black dick. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Uh, uh, well, uh, your credit is saying that. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't matter now. It's on a I Facebook page. I did say page. It's true. that they sound like they should be doing better radio. Well, and they they sound that's all he said. And he I said, did, like, they're not living and with their potential. I, and I gave them an A-plus in their radio voices. Let's yes. remember that. Oh, yes, that is true. But, but he always had guy. that voice. Even at 18, he had that voice, which was yeah. kind of creepy. Yeah. Oh, very creepy when you're sleeping in your room. He comes in. <laughs> Opie, you awake? Opie. 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 Yeah. Wake up. I'd like, like to feel a couple of warm lips. Let's do some oh, radio together. Something's turgid. <laughs> uh, turgid. I think we lived together for <laughs> a little while. Tom Clancy from, novels together. Somebody said across from GJ. What was it? Uh, GJ's. Yeah. Do you think he'll have his feelings hurt if somebody wrote? They say Jim is an Opie wannabe. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was absolutely ahead of me. He'll think that you're. He had uh, fucking uh, more skills than I did. Stuff is too specific, though. It sounds like you're probably saying it on the like. I would yeah. believe that if I read it. He'll yeah. think you're on your yeah. national satellite radio show saying that fucking. Guy was always an Opie wannabe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For clutch, which purse is the smallest? <laughs> I said clutch. Uh, clutch. The clutch. Yeah, that's correct. There you go. Yeah. Yes, you are on the board. With the first right the answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get back in the game with this one, Megan. During the middle of what inning do baseball crowds sing Seventh. "Take Me Out to the Ball Game"? Uh, no, they sing that in the first Seventh. inning if there's rain. No. <laughs> They could do it, but that would wouldn't be as organized. Uh, yeah, it would make it even longer. <laughs> they do it in the seventh inning for the seventh inning stretch. All right, Terry, uh, you are in a very good position here because oh, if you get yeah. this one right, Dog there's no fun. way she can come back and beat you. The town of Salem, yeah, Salem is the setting for what long-running soap opera? Oh, the, the, uh, the witches of our lives. Of our lives. Yes, Dave. you're kidding. You Dave. got that. Terry, wow. is that your story? What's that? Is, is that, that your story? story? Is that the soap opera you watch? I used to. All right. Cool. <laughs> Everybody has that history. Like, I used to watch yeah. it with my mom. Uh, <laughs> my mom made me watch it. Step in the mirror. Wow, Terry. I love that. Good job. You are the winner. Those guys weren't bad. I was <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they're not bad. Well, yeah, one person says, don't worry, Jim. Greg, with two Gs, explain to us yeah. how we have to make all of these same jokes in about 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> do you understand I never tap out? I even go after my own mom, but in this yeah. case, I, I absolutely tapped out. That's yeah. uh, an, old, an old friend, an old colleague, because an old roommate. Because it's not the guy. It's that it brought up a time when Ope was innocent. Oh, yes. That's true, it was, yeah. It, it, it that's was a time of innocent. innocent time. Yeah. When you felt like, wow, I never thought I'd get We're gonna take on the yeah, world. A time yeah. of dreams. We're not going to trash other people. We used to sit around and drink beers like, you know, someday we'll both be in New York radio. Oh, but your life, was, happen your life was through the windshield, <laughs> not in the rearview mirror. Yeah. Unfortunately, so, it only happened. And now, <laughs> where is it? Eagerly looking forward. Yes. Right. Listen, you got yes. these comments include, Greg Hughes is a multimillionaire. How about you, Jim? Oh. <laughs> Now it's just getting personal. Opie is glad that you failed. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to be happy reading any of these. But only just begun. <laughs> the best yeah. person says, Greg Hughes says he likes you, Jim. Not really. He dislikes him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that is absolutely... Huh. Uh, but how about this? Somebody's We're... pointing out Jim Chandler's no friend of Opie. He isn't even following him. On the Twitter. Ah. Now, Jim Chandler isn't well, following you. But how do they know what Jim Chandler's Twitter is even? Uh, people are very uh, easy. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, it's easy to say at Jim Chandler 1075. Well, I'm reading a Facebook according to Oh, shit. Oh. All right. All right. I take it back. I take that back. Why Everyone forget do... forget I said that. Why would you Forget I that? said that. Oh. According to Greg Hughes, Whoopsie. Jim Chandler suffers from extreme herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. That's what you said on the Facebook. Oh, I wish I hadn't oh, said no, that. Oh, he was more like, uh, he was very professional with his approach to radio, and I was yeah. like the loose cannon even in college. Like yeah, he that was, happens. He was uh, about being in management and doing the oh, proper no. structured show. Sure. And, I was and like, that's what he's doing. And I was yeah. like, fuck that. Let me get some of my drunk fraternity brothers on the air and see what happens. Hey, that's his dream. Why the hell were you in Tennessee? That's the other question. No, 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 no. He, see, oh, that's yeah, the other moved. thing. 
radio guys move around a lot, and I, I've certainly moved a few times, but I bet you this guy has moved quite a lot oh, yeah. in the last 20 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, he's not from Nashville. He's, he's up from upstate New York somewhere. He's oh, uprooted. No. oh, no, like Scorch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah scorch. He used to work in Albany. I got a listen. A lot of uh, I got I got uh, six hundred thousand people downloaded my uh, app. Yeah, they, uh, really? You there's did nothing. Starts. There's nothing to look at. Their Facebook page has been taken down. So now, oh, so no. now the guy knows. Oh, now the guy no. knows. They oh, took no, they, took, they took down the entire page. Yes, they now did. my old friend knows. Oh. That's the second Facebook page we've taken down this week. He's it, known yeah. actually for a few minutes, and he probably was wondering why was it continuing. Yeah. <laughs> that what? is the second Facebook page right. that has been taken down this week because why does of Josh Tober. talking about me? El Toto oh. in Brooklyn. Opie sounds so uncomfortable. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I mean, it's a should, very rare thing that I tap out. You should call them on the air. And apologize. You really should. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be true. quiet in the background. Yeah, we won't say anything. <laughs> I think you should. Yeah, I, I'll talk to him. I, I'll, I'll talk to him. Yeah, see if you can get him. You should try to get some of the other guys. Let's try to get him on here with. Yeah, true. But you got to you got to straighten this out. I don't yeah. think because because you know what. This will only fester in his head. Like yeah. he'll be like, "Oh my God, fucking Opie, what the fuck is he doing? Right. Why is he doing this to me? I Why? Mean, the guy Why? said that you dislike him. I'm trying to remember his real name, too. He's used uh, Jim Chandler for a long time. That's not his real name? name? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Jim. Uh, no. It's not uh, Jim Crow? It's not. Yes, uh, it was him. That fucking Just Jim ask him. Was Chuck Jim Roast? Chuck Chandler, Ro is it Chuck Roast? Chandler. Chuck Roast, I think. Is it Chuck, Chuck Roast? Is that his real name? Is that his real name? Chuck <laughs> Roast. <laughs> Who the fuck would use that name on the radio? Oh, that's right. Colin, you understand when you first started in comedy, there's those guys you started with, and you had dreams. Oh. Well, exactly. We're just trashing everything and destroying things. Did you guys ever, oh, did you guys ever sit around drinking a few beers uh, in, in the where, when you uh, were roomies and just talk about like your plans for radio. Oh yeah, our approach was certainly different, but we were like, man, man they got a little buzz on. They get a little business. buzz on. You're like, man, you know what? We are the new fucking voice of radio, man. Not this old school right. shit. Yeah. These fucking Carol boss jocks yeah, and Carol shit. Miller and. Yeah, yeah. We're we're the new voice, man. Yeah. We're gonna make clink and they're constantly clinking their fucking beer yeah. bottles together, drinking. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Fast forward to now, he's fucking sitting there going, "That prick. <laughs> what did he do? Why? Yeah. Why would he yeah, walk out that said? How is he? How is he doing well? I practice my radio yes. voice. And that fucker a, has a national show. Oh. He stammers half the fucking oh, time. God. And what school is this like? I was talking about myself, yes. What school was that? Uh, were, Geneseo. Geneseo. Gen I thought so, yeah. That was great. Yeah. Just uh, a couple of guys. Uh, nice yeah, Anthony, you're being corrected. They're road sodas. Oh, well, you're yeah, having a couple <laughs> sure of road, we've had some road sodas. sodas yeah, yeah motherfucker. Yeah, look at that. Any road Did that just happen? We just uh, made fun yeah. of someone that literally I started radio with. Oh, yeah. Destroyed him. No, it wasn't even made fun of. It was no, really brutalized. It was started. a brutalization. Yeah. How many Twitter followers? Facebook page? Oh, wait, that's oh, his, his personal, personal Facebook, Facebook page. page. He looks like a nice guy. Oh, yeah, look, he studied speech communication at State University of New York at Geneseo. Hey, like there you. he is. Does it say all the stations he had to work at? Uh, right now, it, well, clear channel communications. Uh-huh. Uh, WFLY, The Fly. In Albany. College. In he's, Albany. he's there with a link to Geneseo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could look up his old alumni. You're probably on there. And... What the hell's he been doing for 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not much on that page, huh? How many followers does he have? On, oh, it's got to be. On Twitter? Uh, he's got to have. Well, how many are you up to, Opie? I don't know. Opie's got about 116. Yeah. Know. Yeah, it's up there. What does this guy got? You you should have had a hundred Collins. Collins, <laughs> Collins yeah. very self destructive. What's wrong with you? That's like that's a milestone that a lot of people hope to reach. I know. I was very happy when I reached it. I was very proud for the. <laughs> what are you doing? It's about four hours. <laughs> Literally four hours. I was over a hundred thousand. I was back. And now you're down to like eighty no, something. Like, no, I lost about twenty five hundred that day. Because you just kept retweeting everything. Anybody jokes. <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I uh, I witnessed ever. I would just First of all, I, I just told, sat and read your Twitter for probably four straight hours. I told you, silly producer, I wanted to come in today. Did you see what I tweeted the other day? Bad Blood by Neil Sedaka. Uh -huh. I demand that video for Midnight Special be shown. I wanted to enter to Bad Blood. I tweeted it and I just clicked the link. And anybody who <laughs> tweeted it was like, I hate you for life. It's one of the best. you got to see his jeans, his dance. It's just fantastic, it, right? Oh. Hey, uh, yeah, Sam, people, watch it. people are saying you might have set me up. 
Sam. How would I know who you went to college with? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, There's people out there that know shit. shit. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. By the way, Sam was getting a little overzealous on the shit hour with uh, uh, the name change of the station with the Opie and Anthony channel oh. and saying that the, the 10 to 11 should be the mm. Sam Roberts channel. Mm. Yeah. Sam is trying to fuck you over here. For your job. But be uh, honest. You can have yeah. it. A name like Sam <laughs> Roberts does it. seem Boy. like a showbiz name. Oh, it is. Sam Roberts. It's got a natural charisma to it. Primetime no, Sam Roberts. Sam. He calls himself. Yes. Primetime Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts. Oh. It is. I'm Sam Roberts with you. Horrible. Are we, How uh, you doing? Are we finding out more info about him? The, his Twitter. Married? Loading. He's kids? married. Yeah, he's married with kids. How many kids? Two. How old? I don't know what their age are. Uh, you probably got married like when you're supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Not when you're in your 40s. <laughs> well, you had very you, different paths. How could you marry a young chick when you're in your fucking 20s? You when you're your, well, you can. But yeah. <laughs> Trace. Patrice O'Neal in the hizzy. Come on in, man. Take a seat. Sam Roberts, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we should, why don't we break? We could break. Patrice O'Neal, Colin Quinn, uh, joining the show. Yeah. Sorry, Jim Chandler. That, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. You, you're you going to have to fucking... You got some personal explaining to do to that gentleman. Yeah. Oh, boy. You have to explain. If he knows anything about your career, he would know the, 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 the caliber of, of listener that we right. have yeah. and understand how those posts can uh, end up on his Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. He you probably know. knows he attacked him for a little while, and then it just got crazy. And then realized, you know, you're going to have to sit there and be like, you know, hey, uh, I'm just gonna turn off all my shit and hope it goes away. Is that you to just hope like it, anyone else? Hope it goes <laughs> like away. anyone else? Not checking my Twitter, Facebook, yeah. nothing for a while. People are saying just blame Sam. Yeah, I'm gonna blame. It's a good Sam. idea. Hey, Patrice is wearing a vest. What are you going wrapped into something? That's a good one, Chip. Whew. That's how it starts. <laughs> you just get, Patrice just got a pained look on his face and he walked in. He goes, "October." <laughs> no, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Oh, we, we, trying, wait, we waited. We were trying yeah, to get we it were, done before you got here. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. knew you didn't want to deal my best with that horse shit. I know, uh, but this time we didn't know. Opie knows one of the guys. Didn't know we knew the guy until after we trashed started it. in radio. Brutal, radio. and the fans College were brutal. Radio. Yeah, they were brutal. Think about the yeah. think about the guys you're starting comedy with. You really would leave them alone, wouldn't you? No. Bob <laughs> Kelly? Well, you guys, you guys are Bob different. Bob Kelly? No. <laughs> you guys are different. You're was, brutal all no, the time. No, but that was a real brutalization. We wouldn't yeah. brutalize people that we know for real, like be really mean. Yeah. Like that was genuine. It would be in love. Yeah. Right. That wasn't loving. No. no, no I just I thought was, he's I, lazy. He's terrible. He's I just loving. thought it was just another radio show. Song parodies. <laughs> and when I heard the voice, I mean, something's not right And here. let's get one thing straight. The guys he started with in comedy, Dane Cook, Bill Burr, they leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's a good hour. And Colin Quinn, Patrice, next.